The Model 420 Dual Channel Flame Photometer is a professional instrument designed to be used in the industrial and clinical laboratory. It measures sodium and potassium simultaneously with or without a lithium internal standard. The 420 will automatically detect a stable result and print the result. The Model 420 features fully automatic ignition and optimization of the flame and intuitive guidance of the user through blanking and calibration. The powerful microprocessor and memory retains calibration data and prints out date and time of each analysis through the RS-232 serial port. The printout also includes drift information, which is compensated by the internal standard. After unpacking carefully and checking each item against the packing information in section 2.3 in the operator manual, remove the packing from glass chimney. The correct regulator, which gives an output of 2 bar, should be fitted to the gas cylinder. Connect the air and gas to the rear of the Model 420 using the connectors supplied, checking especially for gas leaks. The Model 420 works with butane, propane and LPG. It does not work with natural gas due to its variability of pressure and quality. Sockets for a print cable, power and analogue cables are labelled at the rear of the Model 420. Next, fill the U-tube and ensure that it is located at the bottom of its travel. Locate the nebulizer in its box and fit to the airline. This component is critical to good performance. It can become blocked and a regular check of the nebulizer uptake rate is essential. To measure the nebulizer uptake rate with the compressed air active, weigh a beaker, aspirate for 30 seconds and re-weigh the beaker. At least 1.5 grams should have been removed. One of the key advantages of the Model 420 is the internal standard mode. For this, a solution of 100 parts per million lithium is prepared. This will be used to form the blank and to dilute the standards and samples. We use lithium as an internal standard to eliminate drift, which is always associated with flame photometry. The lithium detector is permanently monitoring the flame alongside the sodium and potassium detectors. As the flame and instrument changes temperature, the emission of all three elements will change. If we multiply the sodium and potassium result by deviation from 1.000 of the lithium channel, we can eliminate the drift component of those emissions. We will now describe the buttons on the Model 420. On each channel there are keys to adjust the calibration values and to change the values of certain constants. The Model 420 memorizes these values until they are changed. The channel selector allows each channel to be selected. The default is sodium with potassium. Note that lithium cannot be selected as the lithium ref is selected. The mode button selects between peak mode, where the Model 420 identifies and captures the stable value, and continuous measurement, used primarily when the Model 420 is used as a detector in a larger system. REF is used when the lithium internal standard is in operation. Note that REF cannot be selected if lithium is being measured. The final button initiates a new measurement and sends a print signal when in continuous mode. If during a measurement it is necessary to reset the blank when aspirating the blank solution, the blank button can be pushed momentarily. This will reset the zero point of the system and the instrument will then revert to the measure mode. If the blank button is held down until it bleeps, then the system will reset and the blank and calibration will be needed. If the blank is held for a longer time, the third function is seen. First 100 appears. This sets the instrument into clinical mode 101 or industrial 100. The 101 mode will print out the values in millimoles per litre. Set is pressed and 200 is seen. This is where a delay can be installed to allow a longer time before the stable reading is taken in calibration and measurement. Level 300 allows the analog voltages to be changed. 
The voltage shown is for 199.9 units or full scale deflection. Level 400 allows the analog signal to be damped up to 20 times. Preparing to run the Model 420. When the Model 420 is in default mode and has been allowed to warm up for 15 minutes, blanking and calibration can be carried out. The blank lithium solution is aspirated and the blank button pressed. When the cal lights flash and the previously set calibration points are visible, accept these values or change by means of the up and down buttons. Press set on channel 1 and 2. After a few seconds, the display will change to the set value and cal will flash. Press set again for each channel and the calibration will be printed. When the calibration values are set, the lithium internal standard value is set to 1.000. After five seconds, the measurement light will show and the unknown sample can be aspirated. The sample is aspirated and the measure button pressed. After 20 to 30 seconds, the sample value is captured and the value printed. Also printed is the relative lithium value, which shows the drift from the calibration value of 1.000. This drift has been compensated. The Model 420 numbers measured samples in sequence 1, 2, etc. The Model 420 can be used in combination with other analytical equipment. This is commonly used in continuous mode. In the default screen, it's possible to set the instrument in continuous mode by pressing the mode button. This can be with or without lithium reference. Blanking is carried out in the same way as for peak mode. Calibration values are set as before, however when the calibration solution is aspirated, the user has to determine when the signal is steady. The set button is pushed and the measure light is illuminated. From now on a continuous signal is fed to the analog outputs. It is possible also to get an instantaneous printout of the displayed values by pressing the measure button at any time. When closing down the Model 420 for a long time, such as overnight, the correct procedure is to aspirate clean water, then deprotonizing the solution for five minutes to clean the mixing chamber. Then shut off the gas at the cylinder. The gas flame will continue to show for a few minutes as the gas in the tubing is burnt. Once the flame is extinguished, E61 is displayed. The flame photometer can then be switched off. Care should be taken as the top of the chimney will still remain hot. In the Model 425 4 element flame photometer, Sherwood Scientific now adds calcium to the menu of elements that can be measured. Calcium can be measured in combination with sodium or potassium, each with lithium internal standard and with lithium. This enables fertilizer and soil extracts to be measured following the appropriate extraction procedures. Please note that calcium cannot be directly measured on clinical samples. Again, a suitable extraction method has to be used. The Model 425 is the only professional flame photometer measuring calcium in conjunction with sodium or potassium.